Hello, welcome to Just Learn Civil. This is the second tutorial in Estimate. We will learn how to find the quantity of compound wall grill in kg. This is the compound wall. You can change the dimension as per your requirement. Here you can see the parts of the compound wall grill. This is angle, at one at the top and one at the bottom. There are two angles of 25 mm by 25 mm by 3 mm. This is the angle 25 mm by 25 mm by 3 mm. Arrow, these are the 13 arrows over the top of the compound wall. The vertical one is 150 mm and the arc one are 170 mm. And the thickness is you can see here if you see it from this side so this is 150 mm the thickness is 3 mm and this width is 5 mm Now diagonal bars, these are the diagonal bars. So see here, the length of this bar, this bar simply it is offset so they are same up to this length. Again, this is varying length and this is also different length. Remaining all these are same. Now this is the vertical post and arrow over the vertical post. Vertical post and arrow over the vertical post. Two numbers 50 mm diameter, 350 mm height, and cone of 100 mm by 102. These are the parts of grill over compound. Wall. Now let us learn how to find the quantity of this grill. We will see it in Excel. Vertical post 50 mm diameter 3 mm thick. This is the vertical post 50 mm diameter and 3 mm thick. If you see it in plan, so we will find first the area of this outer, then find the area of inner and subtract it to get the area of only this portion. Find the area with this diameter, then miss this diameter and subtract to get the area of this portion only. Vertical post, there are two vertical posts, length is 350 mm, so 350 mm and kg per meter we have found here. First, find the area of outer and the area of inner as discussed earlier, then multiply by 7850, then you will get kg per meter that is 3.47. Now multiply with this length, you will get kg. Similarly, for Horizontal angle kg per meter is 1.1. You can find it from any IS code also or other code. There are two angles, one at the top and another at the bottom. And length of each is 2.9 meter. So you will get the kg of horizontal angle. Now diagonal. From CAD you have to measure the length of all the diagonals and right here which I have already written as I already showed you 15 bars are of 0.5 meter length
starting from this 15 bars are 0 0.5 meter length then 1 2 3 3 bars of different length so here 3 bars of different length then add all the length you will get 8.79 similarly for other direction diagonal also this is the length here 1 in number because we have already added the length here now to find the kz assume the diameter to be 2 mm now pi d square is divided by 4 into length we have used the formula pi d square is divided by 4 into length into number number is 1 is divided by 1000 into 1000 because this is in mm and we have two diameters here and into 7850 to get in kz density of iron is 7850 we will get the diagonal value also now for the arrow on the top arrow on the top 150 mm 4 mm from this direction as we already saw now as discussed earlier vertical length 0 0.15 for arc 0 0.17 and thickness 5 mm 3 mm thickness and 5 mm is the width multiply you will get the volume multiply it by 7850 you will get kg this is the kg of the arrow on the top there are 13 so multiply 0 0.06 into 13 you will get total arrow on the top now arrow on the vertical post this is the arrow on the vertical post assumed to be conical so the volume of the conical is pi r square here is divided by 3 now outer diameter 0 0.102 here it is 0 0.102 height is 0 0.1 0 0.1 now thickness is assumed to be 0 0.02 so you will get the inner this is 102 and this is 100 now to get the height of this inner you will have to subtract only one thickness but to get the diameter you have to subtract two thickness base of inner to get the base of inner we have subtracted two thickness and height one thickness then you will get the volume by the formula we discussed earlier pi r square yards is divided by three for inner and outer subtract it you will get the net volume then density 7850 and you will get the kg there are two arrow so multiply it by 2 you will get total now add all of them you will get 10.4 kg weight of this grid now when you assume this arrow to be solid make it 0 and you will get kg 14.27 so you can change accordingly as per your design as per your dimension And this way you can find the compound work green weight in case thank you for watching if you have any queries please comment in the comment box drop a like share now and please don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon to get notified